Hi, welcome to the very first episode of a new series coming to my channel called How to Survive on Minecraft. So in this basically episode I'm going to be teaching you how to play Minecraft with the most advanced controls. So it's stuff like I'm not going to use I'm not going to use the classic crafting, I'm going to use PC crafting. So for any of you people who are new to Minecraft, this will be a really big help. So start a world and create it. Now I'm going to pick a seed so you can follow along exactly the same time as me. So right, let's name the island, well let's name the world Learn to Survive. Let's call it that. Learn to Survive, okay. So, this should be good, guys. Um, yeah. So, thanks for 9 subscribers as well. So, yeah, I'll be posting a video later about that. So, learn to survive. So, it's going to be on survival and easy for the time being. Now, texture pack, don't, don't basically fiddle with this. It's very important not to go to the next one. But if you do, scroll back till the yellow is over, the basic Minecraft one. And, as you can see in the corner... There is sort of a um, like a little thing that shows you what all the blocks look like. So I'm going to put mine on online game because I will be doing this on multiplayer with some friends. Don't touch hardly any of these settings yet, but seed world generator. Now basically this creates basically your world terrain. So this is what you're going to be in. So let's call it where three four. So I'll give you as Another five seconds to do that. Yeah. Okay, right, that should be enough time. We're three, four. Okay, now make sure you've got bonus chest ticked for any of you new people to Minecraft. But if you're just watching it for the sake of it and you want to follow along, then just leave it off or whatever. This is our game option. Don't put this on whatever you do. Just wreck the game. But make sure all these are ticked unless you don't want to play online. So, survival. Yes, this can be tampered with, but I'm going to keep it to survival. Easy texture packs, online game, all the options are sorted out. Right, so we're creating the new world. So, um, basically, this series is going to be helping people who have never played Minecraft in their life. So it'll help them mainly. But if you do just want to join, then join along. Of course, there's nothing stopping you. Okay, so wait for the world to load, which might take a couple more minutes than mine. Well, really fast internet. So, right, finalising, preparing chunks. Yes, so. It's so. Oh, freezes for a minute. Right, let's um, look around then. Oh, well. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh! Oh no! Yeah. Oh no, a cave. Oh no, a cave. You don't want to be down here yet. Ah, man, this block. Right, so yeah, just get out. So if you want to be on the same crafting as me, all you have to do is press start, help and options. Then you need to go into settings, user interface, and then make sure this very bottom thing that says classic crafting is, of course, ticked. Wait, should it be ticked? No, I think it's unticked. One minute, let me just check. No, it should be ticked. Sorry about that. So it should definitely be ticked if you want classic crafting. But if you do want to just stick to the normal Xbox one, then make sure that it's not ticked. So HDU size, if you want to copy any of these settings, there they are. So uh, yeah, right, let's get straight back into the game. No time to waste. So the bonus chest is over here for me. It might be somewhere else for you. I don't know whether it's the same. So um, yeah, we're going to cut down some trees in a minute, but let's just check what's in the bonus chest. Okay, so the bonus chest was on the completely other side of the mine. I don't know why I just didn't go this way. So, of course, every bonus chest comes with certain amounts of torches. Like, you might be really unlucky and spawn in the worst place ever. So, I've got four torches. And then let's see what's in the chest. So, we've got jungle tree saplings. And by the way, just click Y. Hover over them and then click Y to auto-select them into your inventory. So, um, I got quite lucky because I've got some farming things and a jungle sapling. Which helps and wood and an axe. And then take the chest if you want to. Nothing's going to stop you. So um, 
yeah, I'm just going to keep my skin as Star Lord, I believe his name is, from um, Guardians of the Galaxy. So, if we keep on walking, so I've just came from the mine over there, walked all the way around, and then we're going to head onto this way. Right. Ooh, I think I see something here. Ooh, I might build my very first house there. Tell you what, let's get started on it really quick. It's going to basically just chip into any caves, anything that looks good enough to house you in. But mine's all going to be dirt. I'm not going to build it too big since it is only my first night. Um, but you can, of course, build a house if you want to go out and find some wood. But preferably for your first night, you should mainly dig out sort of a hole. in Even in the ground, just don't dig down too far. Um, or just chip into the side of a cave with either a pickaxe or just a sapling, like I have. So, um, if you didn't know, it's RT to move. RT, no, RT to punch stuff. Um, and then what's LT? Oh, LT is used to place blocks. A is used to jump. Jump, so hit me head on the roof. Ow. X is to craft. And you just move that round with your analog stick. With your left analog stick at the very top to move round. And that's also for walking. Then if you click that down, it goes from um, third person to first person. But I think that's called first person. I think these two are third person. And you can see back and front but then if you click on the right one that's all the way down here and you click down it shifts if you can see in the corner your skin should appear um, if it isn't then go and have a look in your settings make sure everything's okay so if you push that down you do that now sneaking makes you slower but see the way I'd normally fall off this block if I'm sneaking it sends me right to the edge of the block and you don't have to keep hold of this you can let go but then B is to throw items. But if you do not like these settings, you can go to help, um, help and options, controls, and then change these. Now I always have number one, but I'm just showing you the quick through if you want to look. Yeah, right. Um, boop to the third one. So as you can see, they're all very different. Yeah. So and then back. So um. Yeah, let's not waste any more time with showing you how to do that all. So now, since I got the four torches, these four torches are basically life. So wood and torches are life. So just hover over the object and press A on it. Then drag it all the way up to these four squares. This is called the basic crafting grid. So just press A in any corner of that square you want. And then hover over it and press Y. Then once it's crafted, it should appear in that box, yeah? Then when you press Y, it should move into one of these hot bar selections. So these are your quick select, and this is your inventory. Now quick select can be accessed by using RB and LT to move back and forward. Then slightly above, it should say um, what the name is of it. So uh, one minute, you don't have to do this just for the sake of it. I'm going to turn my hood first down. So about that big, so you can properly see. Then, if you press Y again, it'll take you back into that crafting grid. Now, pick up the oak planks, go back up to here, and press X to place one. Place one in every single square. Oh, hi, Mr. Piggy. Basically, just place, and then get your crafting table in your hand, face down, LT, and boom. You've just, basically now, you've got a house, I've got a little cute piggy. Um, and you've got a crafting table to basically start you off, which is a really good start. Now, you sh you'll be able to tell time by if the sun's right in the middle, that means it's 12 o'clock. So basically it's midday. Once it falls over that way and goes right down, that's when mean monsters start coming out. So always make sure you've got a house before it starts getting dark. So I'm just going to fill in this just to make a nice little doorway. Um, I'm going to fill this up because I keep falling. Um, that should do. Yeah, that'll do. Actually, I might as well use the rest of this dirt. Since you don't need dirt for anything. Unless you want to build a dirt house. But it can also be used for scaffolding. So if you think of building big structures. Um, then keep some dirt with you. Keep about three stacks. Um, so now, just really quick before it turns night. 
you want to press, so you want to basically look at your crafting table, then press LT, and it'll bring up this bigger crafting grid. So, um, all you need now is two planks, and then you place them anywhere in the grid, as long as one's on the bottom and one's on top, like that. So it can be placed anywhere. Now just hover over, press Y, and they'll go into your inventory. Then press A, go back into the crafting grid, then press X twice in that exact formation. They can't be changed um, around because this is the crafting recipe. Now get some wood planks and we're going to make the basic tools. So you place one in this top left corner, one in the top right and then one in the very middle. And then it makes something called a wooden pickaxe which has two damage so it takes away two hearts if you hit someone. So just get that in your inventory, Pre press A and then take it to your very first inventory slot. Boom! You've got yourself a pickaxe. So yeah, this is going to be one of the longer videos on... This is going to be one of the longer series and more recent um, things. But I will be showing you, hopefully in the next video, how to use multiplayer. So I'm not going to do anything off camera unless you want me to. So uh, yeah, we're going to keep on going with this video. So now you've got two sticks left. Place them in the exact same thing. So when you're making a tool, you always have to have two sticks exactly like that. So one at the bottom and then one right in the middle. Now, this is how to craft an axe. So that helps mine other objects in the world, but it can only mine cobblestone. It can't mine stuff like iron ore, which I'll be showing you in the next episode. Because this, we're going to stay out from the underground. So press A on your oak planks. Go up. Now, where we started in the top left corner with the pickaxe, place one next to it, see that could, would create a hoe but we're not going to create that yet, then you're going to press right next to this middle stick, boom, you've made yourself an axe, I'll take that out, now that's got three damage, now let me just check the time, what time is it, Um. oh no it's nearly my bedtime, oh. <sighs> so um, anyway this is how to make a door, so three along the middle, and then three next to it. Either way, I think it works, but you get three doors anyway. Let me just check. Yes, it works both ways, as long as you have them on either side. So we've got three doors now, and then just gonna come outside of your house, aim, and boop, door. Now, this means stuff can't just walk in randomly. So to get in your door, you just look at the door and press LT. And LT is a really, really important button, and so is RT. So is the one that you move around with, like, but it's not as important as RT and L and LT and LT. Yeah. <laughs> so shut that door, and as you can see, it's becoming night now. So all the monsters are going to come out. And unfortunately, we didn't have. Oh yeah, we do. Well, if you took up the bonus chest, you'll have a chest. Um, press LT on the chest, then hover over every item and just keep on clicking Y over it, over it, over it, and this puts everything in a safe storage. Anyone can open this, um, but it's quite good for storing your stuff in, and all these slots can be filled. But you can make a double chest, which is slightly bigger and has about 52 spaces. So, um yeah, let's go in. We're going to do some work overnight. Now, I'm going to teach you about something called farming. So, now you've all heard of farming in real life, of course. Basically, just follow the steps I do right now. Just grab eight oak planks. Make sticks again. I'm sorry, you placed two there. Place one. Boop. Alright, now go get your four sticks. And you're going to want to place them exactly the same as what you make every tool with. And then remember before, when we were making the axe and we filled in these two. Oh, that's, yeah, that's a shovel, by the way. If you, you can create that if you want to, but I probably wouldn't suggest it. Okay, now, right next to it, either way, you can make something called a wooden hoe. Now, basically, a wooden hoe fertilises crops. Which, if you don't know what that means, is when you need a body of water, just like... Um, see that ice down there? There's water in it. Well, basically that's called a body of water. And as long as there's grass next to it, which is this block, 
like dirt basically. So this is the side and this from top. Um, as long as it's next to water, your crops will grow. Now I got quite lucky because I, I can make, I can plant this carrot and the pumpkin seeds, but both won't give me enough food. So if you've been sprinting around and you've lost food, if you had food, then you sorted. If you haven't got food, then very sorry to say that you'll be starving before the night ends. Now you can't die of starvation. It's impossible to die of starvation. You can only get to half a heart, which see them little hearts. Just um got if you look at my inventory bar just above it, they're what you call hearts. Now all these hearts you have nine you have ten hearts. Now every one hit with a hand equals about half a heart. But once you once them hearts start going white, I think the colour is, um, then you're in trouble and you need to go somewhere that way you can heal. Now you can get damaged from not eating, of course. Um you can get damage from falling from a certain height. I think it's about three blocks tall. You can um, lose a heart. You can get killed by monsters which are out there. Which, see that little thing there? The one that, just underneath that, that's a skeleton. Skeletons drop bones and shoot arrows at you. They're the worst creature ever. So, uh, yeah. I think I'm, I'm going to end this episode here. So, yeah. Um, let's try and reach three likes. Thanks for watching, don't forget to like, comment, rate and subscribe. The next episode will be coming soon. So yeah, thanks for watching. This has been ZX the Pro Gamer and good night.